you can see, my cut and the dimensions where I was putting it in were not right. So I had to go back and change so I could get them to come out where I needed them to. When I, when I first set this up, now let me pull that one up for you so you can see what I'm talking about. That's a lot of it. Oh, you mean like the checkering? Pardon? Like the checkering on a, your forearm and on your director yeah. shotgun? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got a book on that stuff. I only got some ego from home. Do they have scroll, scroll work in it? here represents this hole with this rounded piece cut onto it. Alright? I mean it's very simple on the computer, it's very simple to draw. But what I had to do, I had to make between this line and this line had to be offset by a quarter of an inch in order to use this bit right, to get it to come out in the right spot. Because the bottom bar across the bottom from here to here is a half an inch. And I didn't want to start right on the center of the bit. I wanted to offset it a quarter of an inch so it starts over here onto this part of the cut. So all I did is when I had my outside line, which is what made my original pocket, I took this line and I offset it to the inside by a quarter of an inch. And now when I run this bit, it doesn't start with the tip out here on the edge, it starts with the tip moved in a quarter of an inch and comes down so the cutter cuts into that, the round part cuts. And this machine is so smart, I can tell this whether to make a climb cutter. Everybody know what a climb cut is with a router? No. It's when you're going the wrong direction, called a climb cut. In other words, you're always supposed to route with the router bit turning <coughs> so it spins into the direction of the wood you want to go to. Right? A climb cut is be going the opposite direction. I can tell that machine out there to go the wrong direction. It'll follow my direction no matter what I tell. But uh, because uh, when you start doing, like you're doing the outside corners, remember a lot of times you don't want to start right out of the corner because the lava would tear it out. Remember how you'd start in here and go backwards a little bit and then come back in to go this way? I can tell that machine to go ahead and start here and come this way and then come back here and go this way. I can tell the machine to do just exactly what you do. All right. Once I have it designed on here, then I would go across to another spot. And right here I've got the two uh, bits laid out here. This is the pocket bit. And what it is, it lets me select a bit. And right here I've got an end mill, quarter inch end mill, which is what you call a quarter inch pocket bit. If you call it quarter inch end mill. Over here I've got some settings on it. It tells me the diameter of the bit. The pass depth is uh, 1.25 inches. Anybody know what that is? 1.25. Point, 0.125. Oh, that's an eighth. An eighth of an inch. So I've set that to go down to make eighth inch deep passes. All right. I've, I've got a step over rate of one tenth of an inch. In other words, it starts in, this, this is starting in the center and it's moving over one tenth of an inch as it starts to go around the thing. You, you we, rotate it down like that or what? No. This will do all the figuring for me. I just can tell it. The profile? To, I, I, can, I can, because I've got a quarter of an inch bit, a one tenth of, of a quarter inch bit is, you know, I'm moving over about a sixteenth of an inch. Because the, the first pass it makes, 
if anybody's watched this thing, and you're going to watch how it does. It comes right down in the center and makes a cut. Okay. And then it moves over a sixteenth and go, goes on the outside around it, moves another sixteenth, goes around until it finally gets all the way out to the outside of the thing. But I can tell it how much to step over on each one of the passes it's going to make. All right. Um, <coughs> So that's for that one. All right, that's what I want to do for that one. Um, close that. This other one is the profile bit. Again, I can, this one here says it's a quarter inch roundover bit. Even though it's showing a V bit, I've got it. Oops. I got to go down here and select my roundover bit. Why didn't it come up here? Do 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 roundover. Did it in the right hand corner? No, that's not the right one. This one here says it's going to be a 3 h radius. This looks like the roundover, like a roundover pit. I just changed some of the parameters on it, so I'll make it rather than a 3 h roundover, I'm making it a 4 h roundover. All right, once I've done these things, I'm going to take this pocket right here, and I want to get a a look at how this is going to cut. So I can tell this to give me a preview. And this is going to go in here, and this is like I was telling you, how it does it on the machines. It actually gives me a preview exactly how it's going to cut. Hmm. It'll go down through there, it'll cut down to the depth. It finishes one side out. Then it goes in and starts over again back at the center. You notice how it comes every time it goes to do it, it comes back over here a little bit on the thing so it can get a nice clean place and where it comes up to stop at. Because of the way the router bit does, but it'll come over there and give me a nice clean edge on the thing. And each path is cut how deep? And, uh, six to an eighth of an inch. I'm going down five eighths of an inch, so I got five passes this thing's going to make. Okay. It'll go down, keep going into the pocket until I get down to my five eighths, which is what I wanted to do in a three quarter piece of wood. I want to go all the way through it. And that's what that round over bit. No, this is what the pocket. This is what the straight bit. So it's doing right now. So it's straight bit. It's making just the pocket. Okay. The other bit I've got up here on here it says profile. That's going to be the round over that gives me the the, the run profile on it. I got to run this one first. But the, the, actually, right out of the screen, you can see exactly what the machine is going to do and how it's going to do the thing. All right, that one's done. So now if I go over here and tell this I want to do the profile, uh, let me set this in a different mode so you can see that. If I set this in a mode, it makes it easier to see mm -hmm. how it's going in there, so I can set it into that. I can actually, actually control this thing, too. I can grab a hold of this thing and move this thing all over the place, any place I want to go with it. I can also turn on the cut lines. Now that 